Hi, uh, this is a response to Zen Hill's positive videos. I love Zen Hill's videos, they're so great. I just love it when he's just talking and he has so many good points. Um, so, um, first of all, I want to say uh, the reason I made my rant video is because I've lived here for seven and a half years. And, you know, I've, I didn't like Japan. I wouldn't have stayed for seven and a half years, and or as long as I have, definitely. Um, but I also figured, because I have been here seven and a half years and I've never made a rant video, I was entitled to make one. So uh, that was my one rant video. <laughs> I don't think I'll be making another one. Someone, Brian, said I was scary. I'm innocent. I'm not scary. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, anyways, positives. There are, many, there are a lot of positives about living here. There are, so many conveniences and so many just interesting, interesting things that happen here um, that I wouldn't give up for the world. Um, definitely the people are very honest in terms of um, returning personal property. Uh, like he said, he left his um, <coughs> electronic dictionary at some place and twice and it was returned. I've left my wallet places. Wallet full of money. You know, it was returned. No money gone, nothing missing. Um, if that was America, it would be gone like that. All the money would be missing, and my credit cards as well. Um, so that's really a testament to the Japanese people in that way. Um, just so many other things about living here that are so great. Um, so, uh, that's what I kind of wanted to say. Um, and that not to take the negative parts seriously, but know that there are negatives to living here. But there are also positives that make it really great and really worth living here because there are things that happen here, just like if you live anywhere else in the world, um, that you would never experience if you stayed in your own country. Um, actually, one of my things about living in a foreign country or, um, is to challenge myself. I don't want to be one of those people that's just resigned and uh, sits around and looks through the world, at the world through a TV. I want to experience things. I want to challenge myself and my limits. And I think that people should, should do that in general. I mean, there's so many opportunities in this world. I understand if you don't have money to travel or do that sort of thing. But if you have the money, instead of buying things, travel, see the world, learn something new. Um, you never know what can happen, and you never know how your life can change. Could be for, you know, you could go somewhere, travel somewhere, have a really bad experience, but it's an experience, because not all experiences in life are good, you know? Life is not just a cakewalk. So, uh, I challenge you, whoever my viewers are or whoever watches this, to definitely challenge yourself by getting outside of your comfort zone, moving outside of your bo the borders of where you live. Uh, experience something new. Test yourself and your limits. Uh, that's kind of my motto in life. Um, that's why I'm crazy enough to run the marathons. <laughs> anyways, maybe that's just crazy. Um, anyways, also, sexy MDL man, sexy model man, we don't just talk about pet peeves all the time. I remember having several conversations about how we have to help you get a visa and several other things. So we did not just talk about pet peeves of Japan, although we do, but that wasn't all we talked about. <laughs> so anyways, um, that's all I have to say right now, it's just a quick, quick video. I'll be making several videos soon about other stuff, about Japanese stuff, because there are some interesting uh, events coming up. So like Setsubun, and uh, I'm not going to tell you about it, because I want to do a video about it, so there. Um, anyways, this was just a quick response to Zen Hill's video. Um, I love your stuff, just keep on making it. Um, and that's the end. See you again soon. Bye-bye.